Many thousand years ago, Glooskap, son of goodness, father of all Indian children, sailed the glittering sea of morning to the land we now call Canada. Here he beached his great canoe and smiled upon this newfound country and its rough and fragrant beauty. Near the shore, he built a lodge from the branches of a birch tree intertwined with leaves and rushes. Then he ventured through the forest to a steaming, black, foreboding wilderness of beasts and lizards, towering beasts, mammoth lizards. Every animal was big, giant deer, bear, beaver. Even squirrel had great dimensions. Now the chieftain of this dismal place was Wolf, the wicked son of evil. Loosecap hated all this evil, knew that Wolf would try to kill him. He was right. Their mortal combat caused the very earth to shudder. Writhing in a fearsome battle, Loosecap clutched a fern root as a weapon, slashed, and slew the son of evil. Wolf, the wicked son of evil, nevermore would cast his loathsome shadow on these woodlands. Now by rights, Glooskap was chieftain. Chieftain of the gloomy woodlands, the giant beasts, the towering lizards. 